much to have me back on. I figured after the last one, you would have driven away all your customers. You no, know, not at all. <laughs> Actually, it, uh, it resonated pretty good. You would think that the political podcast wouldn't really do as well, but, but you man, know what? I'm telling you. It's electricity. If you wanted to replace all the hydrocarbons, you're probably looking at building maybe 684 nuclear reactors at a cost of about three or four trillion. Like, <laughs> like, oh, man. Let, let's be realistic yeah. here, right? <laughs> about what... Canada needs to be thinking about, right? <laughs> it's like that number just seems uh, just like it, that's a sticker shock that I don't think well, I've seen before. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and so you know, this um, clip is going to, this hits home. This hit home to me. Yep. And I was like, what's going and on here? Should, should give a warning to your listeners. This is very using unparliamentary language. It is very, very true. Very unparliamentary language. Um, yeah, okay. Warning as young as 11 years of age. Mr. Speaker, I would ask that the House brace themselves for the following words from one such book called Eleanor Park, and I quote, I know you're a slut, you smell like cum, nothing but a bitch in heat. I remember. End quote. That is thing. crazy. 11-year-olds? 11-year-old. And you should, like I say, you should see the illustrations in some of these books. Government is not telling you about this. They're not talking about this. They're saying, oh, it'll be okay. We, shan't, we have to have an honest conversation with people in British Columbia. Down the road, we did like a live recording, sure. but we post it in advance so people can submit questions. Yep. And then they can chime in, like they can watch and maybe... Thanks for having me on. I look forward to My our next pleasure. chance.